Hey, Todd. Yeah, what's up, Andy? Do the letters and numbers RC6, SC4, PR5 mean anything to you at all? What the hell are you talking about? All right, everybody, welcome back to 1090. I am Andy, this is Todd, part two of our Maker's Mark Vertical. Oh, man. In our last episode, we'll link you back before, we had a spotlight on the Maker's Mark 46, and then the brand new release that just came out, limited edition, the Maker's Mark 46 cast strength. We loved them both, oh. fantastic. The cast strength used to only be available in Loretta, uh, Kentucky at their distillery. Amazing. It's now available to everyone, so go out and grab it while you can, dropped in September. But then those crazy numbers and stuff I flashed you, we were talking about <laughs> those you beautiful numbers. wood staves. I may hate math, but I love bourbon. It makes me do really I good know. things, right? You're like a so, savant now. <laughs> <laughs> idiot savant. <laughs> but uh, wood series was an extension of the yeah. 46 where they put the uh, stave profile 46 in the maker's mark and just it, it showed the power of what the wood can do Amazing. to add additional complexity and flavors to original recipe that's yep. remained unchanged since 1953. Yep. So last year, the RC6 came out, limited uh, release, 266 barrels were made. I, I it. tried it. It was, it was great. It was really good. It was different. Mm -hmm. um, the RC6 wood stave was designed to mm. bring out the kind of baking spice and okay. like, fruity notes um, on top of the original Maker's Mark recipe. Got it. And I think it succeeded. It's been a while since, despite what the bottle may look like, <laughs> since I've actually since I've I had it. So this will be a fun little side by side. But uh, this month, the brand new 2020 limited release came out. And we this is with it. two stays. This is the first time they blended, which uh, is really kind of cool. So two, they, they found two stays they really liked, the SE4 and the PR5, both designed to bring unique characteristics together. Mm. One heavy on the vanilla notes, Ooh, one heavy on the caramel notes, which sounds absolutely delicious. And you thought the, the, the 46 was sweet? That sounds like... You're building it up here. Yeah, I mean, so... I both it delivers. Both clocking in over 100 proof. Um, we'll get into each one side by side, but I'm I'm really excited to to try them both in this vertical and and see what this new release is all about. Let's do it. All right, so the 2019 is 108 proof. It's a non-age statement, but about six years of aging on it. What else you know about it? Good. So yeah, same same principle here, Todd. They they went with the 10 oak staves. This is American uh, virgin oak and and. This was designed, like I said, to really bring out that that baking spice, spice oh, component, the right. um, a little fruity note. Um, so we'll mm. see how that even compares to. Ooh, and it do, it does have a nice kind of beautiful. There is a little bit of that kind of baking spice on the nose. So again, I'm going to be trying to compare this to the 46, yeah. the 246 we just did. I like this nose better. Yeah, this is, this is actually a really pretty nose. This this is really a little more aromatics on this than I think With, the 46 a little, had. Yeah, 100%. And you know what? It's certainly not as sweet. No. But then that's that, not what they're going oh, for. They're, they're, I, think, would, I think when they say baking spice, like that, like yeah. maybe if you you might be getting some of that on yes. there, like that nutmeg and... So let me, let me, not picking up any vanilla on that, but again, oh, really. berry, the wood is certainly shining here. Right, Real let's, nice. Let's cheers. cheers 2019. Mmm, that's yes, good, sir. That's really good. Again, so we're up in the uh, proof here, and again, it's it's not overly hot to me, which is no interesting. So far, they've all even the even the casting they yeah. uh, uh, forty six. Yeah. They they they're drinking yeah, almost I mean, like a, a lower proof than you feel that they are. I like it. There's not a lot of heat and burn on the nose either. I mean, they're they're really soft um, compared to the proof that I think you get. So. Here, again, there is still a sweetness in this, mm -hmm. which I think is interesting. With the oak, I'm not getting a lot of vanilla that I think we may get in the 2020, at Maybe. least. We'll see. I'm but, also surprised by the lack of the lingering finish on this. It's, this mm, finish is a little, it is, a little it, quicker than I thought. You know, sometimes those big boys will sit with you for a while, and not, I like that. I like how it just kind of lingers and sits yeah. with you for a while. I think this... Um, it's a little bit of a, of a of a quicker finish on the palate, but it's so, it's, a, it's a 
pretty pretty bourbon. Yeah, look at the legs on that sucker. Look at it. That's mm. nice. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it a lot actually. Um, but I'm more interested to see how it compares. Well, to I'm really one. interested because this is this is blended, and this is the first time they've done a blended version of mm -hmm. of their. Uh, wood finishing series, so this is going to be interesting to see. So, all right, so we're going to talk now SE4 PR5. Just come out. All right, so here's your breakdown. Okay. 55% of this in the blend is the PR5. Okay. Okay. These are American oak stays that have been cooked in the convection oven oh, at a low heat. Wait for it. And uh, that longer toast is supposed to really make those vanilla flavors pop. And that, that's going to well, comprise 55%. I didn't get a lot of vanilla flavors in 2019, no. so let's see if we and, get And they really, they, they, they yeah. want to kind it's of a, it's pop a different, the, yeah, it's the, different, the right? fruit notes on that. So this sure. is a different flavor profile. But then the rest of it, the PR5, yeah. that was finished in French oak staves. Okay. And uh, a little bit higher, more of a medium heat on the toast on that. And, the, uh, and that's supposed to kind of impart some of those uh, caramel notes. So they, they put the two together. The majority is going to be on the vanilla side, but right up behind that, the 45% is going to be the uh, the PR5. I mean, it just, okay, it, so it sounds amazing. I've already cheated and put a nose on it. Well, there is vanilla on that. No doubt about it. There is vanilla on that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow, I'm surprised how that pops on this. That I mean, smells fantastic. I mean, we always say does, does the, does the uh, oh. flavor match the nose, but man, that is... One of the more vanilla four bourbons I've, I've put in those. That's on amazing. A while. Now that's all from the wood, the staves. Yeah, that's what they're going for. I mean, that's they went amazing. they went through. They said fifty or sixty different staves before they decided on these two. Oh, I hope this. I hope and, the and like hundreds of different hope, tastings to get it just right. Uh, which sounds like a fun job. I hope the palate but follow whew. suit. Cheers. All right, cheers. This man. is a hey, two thousand twenty. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, I like that. I need to go in for another second. Yeah. One second. That's, that's really good. You kidding me? That's pretty dang good. I really enjoy that. Um, the caramel notes that they say there, they're subtle. They're not like in your face no. the vanilla still shines on this it I mean, does you pick up lasts. a lot of vanilla notes and it does the finish is twice as long mm -hmm. i think on mm -hmm. the, the 2020 than it is on the rc6 of 2019. It's not more. yeah i mean it this is a it long it, it coats the whole mouth and palate and it's still laying on my tongue. those flavors are pretty man you know we, we talk about this when we do beer reviews of yes. barrel beers like how the barrel can impart different flavors and you're seeing it in this whiskey and we did the bourbon county sour. Remember how this year they did one? They're standing, yes. They did in a rye barrel versus the traditional bourbon barrels that they do. Yep. And the flavor profile was so different. And it was gorgeous. I loved it. Amazing. Just these two, again, so vastly different. Both really good. But I really like this All right, SC4. Well, don't give it away yet. I won't. I'm just don't give it away. Say, well, I, think I, well, I like this. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's pretty obvious. So mm. let's first talk about 2019. Andy, okay. rate that on a five barrel. What would you give it? Um, out of five, I would give that. Uh, I give that a, a three eight five. Maybe three four. eight five. Three eight five. I would at least that. go a four on that. Yeah, it's good. I thought it was not. It, it wasn't to me. It's not. It, I I think it's on par maybe with the forty six, and it's not. Actually, with the, I think I like the forty six a little better. I might too, and it's not with the cast strength by mm -hmm. far. I love the cast mm -hmm. strength was better. Mm -hmm. So of the three of the four we've done so far, I would say that would that would probably be my. Now do 2020 that just yeah, came that's, out. That's a that's a four three. <laughs> yeah. For me, I was gonna say a four. Uh, for me, a, even with the higher proof, mm -hmm. it doesn't drink as. I mean, it's it's. You can tell it's a I bigger. Will, I will be actually just to make sure that I'm right. <laughs> I will. I'm, I was going like a four uh, five on that. That's fantastic. It's and beautiful. For, for higher proof for me, you get those vanilla notes. The oak still shines is, there. Yeah. Um, the sweetness is still. You I, can tell still there. It's a high weeder. I, it's I still love there. how when the, I mean I. I couldn't even pretend to understand anything about how they, the, the slow charge versus the, the longer, the, the heats are different, but just the way they know how to That's fantastic. get these flavors to come through off of the wood is just awesome. So this is out this month. Mm -hmm. Where is it easily available or no? This is it hard to it's, get. No, it's, it's limited, but limited. just like the RC6, it'll be, you'll be able to find it, but when it's gone, gone. I don't know. They, I think they said they made 266 barrels of the RC6. Uh, I don't know if that's the same for the PR5 SE4, um, but 
This is delicious. Oh, just, the other thing about this is they left the staves, it was either the French or the American, someone can correct me down below, outside for a year, too, these oh. staves, to pick up additional flavor. It may have been the uh, the PR5. So they actually spent for time weathering for a whole year outside. All I mean, seasons. it's the crazy things they do with the wood to kind of make these flavors well, that, like that pop. does That'll do it, when, leaving it out in yeah, the summer, it's, the it's, winter, it's, all it's those cool. seasons. It expands, contracts. And, and what I like, I mean, is that is Maker's Mark, with this whole series, completely reinvented itself with the exact same... Mashbone, which that I like. Is, That's what's right, impressive. Here's what we can do. Yeah. Rank all four. Rank all four? Okay. So you got the regular 46, you've got the cast strength 46, mm -hmm. you got 2019, yep. and 2020. Okay. Go. Uh, if you want me to do it real quick, top yes. of my head, I'm going to go on. number one, SE4 PR5. Agreed. One. Number two is the big brother of the 46, the I'll, cast strength. I'll switch two. it, but go ahead. Okay. Then 46, and then RC6. So, there you go. So this actually is the least desirable. Of all the four. For me, yes. Yeah, me too. I agree. I agree. Yeah, for me, yes. There you go. Uh, and, it's, and by least desirable, any day of the week, <laughs> I will drink this and enjoy it. It's a uh, really good bourbon. Obviously. But the other three, I just think are, and, and that 46 has been really available for a while, but it was a game changer. And, and you can see yeah. why. I just love the power of the staves. I can't wait to see what happens you want to share in 2021. <laughs> no, I'm going to take this home with me. You know, you can, I mean, you know, yes, pour yeah, it. It's a little more. What is bourbon supposed to be share with your friends, there right? You so there you go. So enjoy that little pour, my I friend. I certainly will. Uh, awesome. Good stuff. Really good. I hope, if you guys have had any of the 46s, please let us know. Comment below. We'd love mm -hmm. to hear. Yep. So we'll link you back to the 46 verse 46 uh, below. You can watch that. Yep. Obviously, the wood finishing series that came out this year, go grab it if you can. I think it's around 60 bucks a bottle. Um, Fantastic. Worth it for me. You know, it, 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 if it's like a bottle or a pour or like go to the, go to the bar and actually taste it 220, first. 220, 100%. If you find it, grab it. It's worth it. I think it's really good. Um, yes, pretty bourbon. But mm. in the meantime, mm. if you like what you see from 21090, please hit that subscribe button and click that little bell in the corner to let you know every time we got a new video coming out. We've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Untapped. We go live every Tuesday night. 10. At 8.30, we do our top 10 with 2.10. We pick a new topic. We have a whiskey of the week. Oh. We have a beer of the week. We have a ton of fun. Guests come it's on. It's so much fun. We Please give away us. merch and swag, which, by the way, we have merch and swag. You Teespring. can check that out below as well. Yep. Um, until we got that new applause new button. New applause button. Cool. You see it down there, a little hand with a money sign. Hey, if, you, if you like this video and want to show us that, please just hit that, and uh, we'd love to see it. Yep, help support us as we continue to grow, get better, and afford this beautiful bourbon, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. It's ever-growing, Andy. <laughs> the collection <laughs> continues to move. But anyway, I, this has been a ton of fun. Awesome. Uh, Hope you enjoyed Maker, it, too. Maker's Mark, great well job. Get out to Loretta, Kentucky. That's where one, one of these days Once we'll, COVID ends, hopefully we can get there, Andy. I've the a whole trail. bunch of places once COVID ends. But until then, I'm stuck in the basement drinking with you. That's <laughs> hey, all right. Could be worse. Cheers, guys. <laughs> mm. 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 That's a winner.